All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Chakwadash, the bonds to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Citations to all the I can push in his word with truth and sincerity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world even calls God and Jehovah, Ba'asham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, whom the world even calls Jesus, and, and uh, Chakwadash is the Holy Spirit. As always, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the Israelites of the Bible. Uh, as well as the speckled bird, uh, the the other Israelites scattered amongst other nations who look like the other nations whose lineage through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to like it, whose uh, lineage through their fathers go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. I'm your diary from Great Millstone Branch out in Chicago, and I'm back up to another quick lesson. It's going to be just an open forum. forum. You know, basically, I don't really know what to title this one. goes to a few different things, you know, but... uh. You know, I was reading Isaiah the other day and I came across this precept and, you know, I was like, I can make a lesson out of this. There's a few things I, I could tie into this, you know. So, hey, Lord willing, this be edifying, you know. I'm just getting to it. This is Isaiah 26 and verse 1. It says, in that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will the most high appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation, may, which keepeth the truth, may enter in. It says, open ye the gates that the righteous nation, which keepeth the truth, may enter in. And hey, two-thirds of our people are going to die, man. Why? Because, uh, as the scriptures say, lying children. Yep. Yep, yep. Why, 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 why won't uh, all of our people come into those gates, man? It says uh, Isaiah 30 and verse uh, 8, it says, Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people, lying children that will not hear the law of Yahweh. And they, two thirds of our people are rebellious. They don't want to humble down to the truth. They don't want to. <clears throat> So like they don't want to come to the knowledge and wisdom, understanding that they Israelites. No, they just want to. They just feel with debate, envy, strife. So hey, they don't want to come into this truth, you know. So guess what? The Lord has to destroy them. It says, "Uh, lying children that will not hear the law of the Lord." Right? I gotta grab one. Uh, yep, I gotta grab another one. It says, "Which say to the seers, see not." And the seers are the prophets. It says, and to the prophets, prophesy not and tell us right things. Don't tell us the truth. Don't tell us that, that Esau, Edom, the so-called Caucasian is our enemy. T don't tell us that, hey, we're the chosen people. T -t 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 tell us smooth things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. Everybody's equal. Love, love, love. Black lives matter. Antifa. All this weird stuff. That's what our people want to hear, man. It says, uh, get ye out of the way. Turn aside out of the past. Have caused the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay there on. Right. That's what our people do. They two thirds of our people do. They don't like the, the, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding the Hebrew Israelites bring it out. They want to trust and stay on oppression, man. Fucking Christianity is oppression, man. Black Lives Matter is oppression, man. This way of life, period, is oppression and perverseness, backwardness. Everything in this world is backwardness. If it's not the truth, it's backwardness. And stay there on and, and content here. I said, therefore, this iniquity shall be unto you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking comes suddenly at an instant. And he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel that is broken in pieces. He shall not spare, so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it a shred to take fire from the hearth or to take water withal out of the pit. And hey, hey, our people just got to be destroyed, man, because all the scripture just said it, man. Just lying children, just trust and oppression, perverseness. Don't want to listen to the truth, man. They got to be destroyed. Let my grape. Okay, let me uh, grab this and now I'm going to hold it. Let me grab this uh, preset really quick. Two thirds. Because I already, you know, I mentioned it. This is uh, Zechariah chapter uh, <coughs> 13 and 8. Fudge. One second. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it says, uh, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, say of Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. 
but the third shall be left therein. And a that uh, third, that, that one third is the nation of Israel, the elect of God, you know, the elect of the Most High, the elect of Israel, man. The ones that's going to receive that mercy, man. I, I believe it talks about that in second edges, the first chapter, man. I'm going to grab that, Lord will. Yeah, I'm going to grab that. Uh, cloth palms. Yep. It says verse nine, it says, and I will bring the third part through the fire, which means not, you know, that he's going to bring, he's not going to let us be destroyed through that uh nuclear fire, but he's going to bring us that spiritual fire, man, that trying, meaning that temptation, that, uh, that, that try anything that tries you, man, to purge out all the uh, impurities, man. It says, and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried and they shall call on my name and I will hear them and I will say it is my people and they shall say, Yahweh is my power, man. So a two thirds that we just read are going to be cut off. That's that's the. Uh, it's like, yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what we just reading up in that. Uh, it's like, yeah. that's what we just reading is Isaiah. It says, uh, Isaiah 26 and 2, open the gates that the righteous nation, which keep of the truth, may enter in. Right? Uh, <laughs> let me go to this uh, second edges really quick. Con. Damn. Let me hit the second address 9. This is uh, second address 9 and 20. And 9 and 20 says, So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were coming to it. And I saw and spared it greatly, and have kept me a grape of the cluster, a plant of the of a great people. Right? He said, I, I kept me a cluster. Uh, I have kept me a grape of the cluster. Oh, think about a cluster of grapes. He said, I kept me a grape and a plant of a great people. Let the multitude perish therein. He said, let the majority of the, of the clusters perish. Which were born in vain. And that's two thirds of our people. They were born just to be characters in a story. No purpose, no no truth, no light, nothing. It says, and let my grape be kept that one small grape out of the cluster. That's the elect and my plant for with great labor have I made it perfect. And hey, the Lord is putting great labor upon us. He's uh, trying us, man, making us go through things to perfect us, man, and be ready, man. You know? Uh, and it says, put off, put off immortal. And, and, and what are those, uh, what is that grape going to be going through? What are they going to have to go through to uh, receive that, man? This is uh, second Andrews, second Andrews <laughs> 2 and verse 1. I address saw upon Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised Yahweh with psalms. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set a crown and was more exalted, which I garveled, which I marveled at greatly. And this was Yahweh Shai, man, crowning the elect. Verse 44, so I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put off all the cares of this world, put off all, you know, everything that we thought we knew and put on the immortal, put on this truth, man, put on their garments, man, sacrifice all they have for Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and have confessed the name of the most high and, and, and went out and did what we're supposed to do, made lessons, teach, preach on the highways and the byways, uh, feeding the sheep. Confess the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, in a world where all that was uh, looked down upon. It says, now are they crowned and received palms, man. So, hey, now is the time. That's this vision that Ezra saw was the time which, you know, Lord willing, I'm of that. But we saw, we uh, received our reward. It says, then say I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowneth them and give them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the most high. Who is that? Yahweh Shai, man. And, hey, that's a cut to all you people that say, the, the apocrypha is in a part of the Bible, man. Come on now. Yahweh Shai is not in the Old Old Testament. Come on now. It says, uh, whom they have confessed in the world. Right? We confess Yahweh Shai in the world. It says, then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And right, that's, it said commend them. He was giving them props for doing so. It says, then uh, the angel said to me, go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of Yahweh thy power thou hast seen, man. And they that's a vision, man. So what's going to happen, man? And that's what's going to happen to that righteous nation, which keepeth the truth, which uh, may enter in. 
Verse 3, it says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. It's like Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. And they the scriptures tell you Isaiah 33 and 6, knowledge and wisdom should be the stability of thy times. And the scripture just say right here, we're going to be in perfect peace because we we stayed on on the on Yahweh, man. We didn't go to Black Lives Matter. We didn't go to Antifa. We didn't go to all these different things, man. But we stayed and trust on Yahweh by Shimei on Shai. So he's going to give us that knowledge and wisdom and understanding, which is going to be the stability of our times, man. It's going to keep us in perfect peace, man, when all these judgments come down, man. You know? And hey, that elect, you know, just to prove that elect, man, this is Isaiah 14 and 1. This is what's going to be given unto us. It says, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, it's script. Isaiah 14, 1, for you, I will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall join, shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, man. And hey. This mercy is, is going to be established upon Jacob in Israel. Two thirds of our people are heathens right now. They have their father, the devil. They don't want to be called Jacob in Israel. They don't want to be called Yaquab and Yashallah. They want to be called heathens, man. They want to be called Gawain. So, hey, fuck them. Uh, Romans 11. And those strangers right here in verse 1 is talking about Israelite foreigners, man. Ver, uh, Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'll be out there in one moment. I got you. Yeah, I got you. One moment, mama. It says, uh, it's like it. It says, what then? Israel have not obtained that which you seek it for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Right? Two thirds of our people, which are Israelites, were blinded from receiving this truth. So they don't get that salvation. They don't get the, the vision, you know? It says the election have attained, but the rest were blinded, right? They were blinded and ultimately slated for destruction. In most 9 and 8, behold, the eyes of Yahweh power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save Yahweh. And hey, that new sinful kingdom is talking about uh, America, a.k.a. Babylon and Great. It says, uh, saving I will not utterly destroy it. So he's not going to utterly destroy it. He's not going to fully destroy it, the house of Jacob. But he's going to leave a remnant. It says, for lo, the elect, for lo, I will command and I will save the house of Israel among all nations. So he's going to save his elect from everywhere where they've been scattered. <laughs> like as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Ain't nobody's going to pluck the elect out of the Lord's hands. All the sinners of my people. <laughs> so like if those found clothed with garments, you know, uh, it's like if found spotted. And uh, blemished, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. They ultimately say that it, it ain't no God. God ain't gonna do that. God ain't coming back none in my lifetime. The Lord said they're gonna die by the sword. And that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that has fallen and close up the breach that thereof. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build as in the days of old. So hey, how about Shemal Shai? It's gonna raise up the, the t tabernacle of David, man. Just a oh my god, just mighty men, man. And we don't, man, it's gonna be amazing. Zephaniah 3 and 12 says, and I will also leave in the midst of the afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of Yahweh. And hey, that's the that's the elect, that's that's the mist that's become it's like that's the uh remnant. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. As it says in the book of Revelation, it says, No gal was found in them, for they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid, man. So, hey, that remnant is going to be the ones to enter in through those gates that the Lord is going to have mercy upon. Two thirds are going to be cut off and die, man. Simple as that. Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. Call Halayim La, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai Basham, Rakakwadash, the ones to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, Salutation, Allah, I can push the word with truth and sincerity with charity. Shalom and Baba Ball.